So here I'm going to be showing you a flipped lesson that I did in math. Um, this was a lesson on balancing equations. It was originally a lesson from investigations called 10 plus, but I changed it and added a lot to it to make it my own. Um, I did an in-class flip with this lesson using the morning work time and setting up stations during the lesson block. So for morning work that day, I had created a video for the students to watch. It was a screencast that I made using my Elmo, and I recorded myself solving a balanced equations problem and talking my way through it so that students could listen to my explanation of how I was solving it and watch me solve it to kind of prepare them for the types of problems that they would be seeing that day in the lesson and how to go about solving these types of problems. So after I made my screencast, I uploaded the video to TeacherTube and I assigned my students the link to TeacherTube for my video and that's how they watched it on their device. After watching the video, the video is probably a minute or a minute and a half long, um, the students were asked to do this quick little warm-up activity um, to get their brains going for the lesson that we were doing that day. On the left side of this worksheet, they were just filling in the missing add-ins for the 10 plus problems. And on the right side, they had cut out these um, addition problems on the bottom and they had pasted them to the correct sum. So just something to warm them up for the lesson and to get their brains going for that day. When we got to math that day, I started with a pre-assessment to see which students were um, able to solve 10 plus problems or balanced equations problems on their own already and which students needed more help or a reteach from me. So I used Socrative to pre-assess and I let my students um, solve the problems on a whiteboard to help them and then they chose from a multiple choice answer and I just I always like to start with a pre-assessment that way I know how to group my students for the stations or the or the um, mini lessons that I'm doing and I'm able to identify which students are ready for a challenge and which students are in need of a reteach. So I used Socrative to assess this day. Um, Socrative is a free website. Teachers can set up quizzes for their students to take. And this is what Socrative looks like from a student's perspective. You get a room code um, that you can make for your class and they enter their room code and then they enter their name and then it, it imme immediately begins their quiz for them. So this was the actual quiz that my students took for the pre-assessment that day. It just had a couple balanced equations problems for them to solve and choose the missing add end for that 10 plus part. Um, Socrative is great because it gives you immediate feedback for the teacher and it's very um, easy to use for the students. This day it was just a quick five question quiz. You can do multiple choice, you can do true and false, um, you can do short answer quizzes. It's a great tool for teachers and for students. So as soon as your students complete their quiz, it gives you immediate data. Um, which is great, and it gives you three forms of data. If you can see in the top, it gives you a whole folder of each student and um, their results. It gives you a, an Excel sheet, which you see here, of the whole class, and then it gives you a PDF kind of breakdown of each question. And here I have the Excel sheet, and right away I'm able to tell who can already solve these types of problems on their own and who is in need of a little more help and who might um, benefit from a reteach. So this way I can just start grouping my students for the stations. I realize that I don't need to stop and deliver an entire lesson to all of my students. Some of them already get it. So I can just go right into my stations. These were my stations this, on this day. I had four stations. I had a Wixie, which was my tech station. I had an Add 10 Bump, which was a partner game. I had the, the um, game from Investigations called 10 Plus, and then I had my small group. Um, this was a game that I had created, although they do make a lot of these games on Teachers Pay Teachers, so um, there's no need for you to make something on your own. You can really just search it. I'm sure they have something similar, but I made it on this day for this skills specifically. Um, for this game, they played in partners, they spun the spinner, 
and whatever number they landed on, they had to add 10 to that number and cover that number on their game board, and they could bump each other off. Um, it just gave them a little more practice with adding 10 to a number and kind of builds into that um, 10 plus skill. This was the game from investigations that students um, were doing at, with a partner. They had to draw two cards, add those numbers together, and then they, re they record the problem under the 10 plus problem that matched it, that had the same sum. My small group was different. Um, my, my lesson for my small group was different for each group based on the pre-assessment and what the students needed. Um, this was my extension group. Um, these were the students that already showed me that they were able to solve 10, 10 plus balance equations on their own and they were ready for a challenge. So this was a game I actually found on Teachers Pay Teachers. I think it was free. Um, but it practiced sol solving balanced equations that weren't just 10 plus balanced equations. They were all different kinds of um, equations to balance. So it kind of gave them a little more challenge. Um, if you see on the right, you see the scale that I also had prepared in case this game was too easy and they needed even more of a challenge. I had that ready for them to balance um, addition and subtraction equations. I didn't end up using it because they seemed to be doing pretty well with the game, but I just had it ready in case. So it's good to be prepared for whatever your students might need. This was my intervention group. These are the students that didn't do so well in the pre-assessment and they might need a little reteach from me. Um, so I had an activity prepared where we just first off just practiced um, solving 10 plus problems and then I gave them a little reteach on how to go about solving those balanced equations and they got to practice a little on their own. So having a reteach lesson um, ready for, the, for that group that didn't gather what they needed from the video lecture in the morning. So they, this is the group that just needed a little more help from me. Um, I love using Wixi as my text station because you can create activities for your students to do. It's very interactive. It's very independent for them. In this case, I created a quick little activity where they warm up by solving a couple addition problems and they warm up by solving a couple of 10 plus problems and then eventually they go into the balanced equations you see on the left. Um, I love Wixie because after they're done a project and they've completed it, you can go on your teacher account and check out their progress and see how they did. And it's almost another form of assessment that you can use for your lesson. Um, and it's very independent for them. You can add voice instructions to each page so that they have all the directions there. You don't have to go over anything for them. And you can assign these projects to them. So after each group has visited each station, I give a post assessment to make sure that um, they learned everything that they needed to learn. And I actually, in this case, I just used, used that same Socrative assessment that I used as the pre-assessment as the post-assessment. And as you can see, the results are on the right. Um, most of my students ended up be being successful with this lesson. And then you can also kind of see which two or three students you might need to meet with the next day and try again and maybe give them another reteach. So another great way to collect data at the end of a lesson. So that was a flipped math lesson using morning work and stations. I'm going to stop here and include this lesson on the reading portion of this site.